image editor. Good. Now that's our portal, that's our first world, and that is our second world. The basic portal effect is very simple. You just add a color mix, select um, first input to be the first world, second input to be the second world, and the mix factor it can be used like some kind of mask and you just use your portal as the mix factor and now it looks that way okay I know it doesn't look very good but this is how it works so now we add a filter blur and we select the gauss blur and we blur the very by a very high number I choose 100 into x and y direction you maybe have to adjust that if you use a other resolution or a other camera distance or you just have to try it out what's the best for you and I add a converter color ramp connect it with our filter and I move that white color left like that and the black color right that will be our new mask it looks a bit better but not perfect we duplicate that color ramp and now we make the border for our portal it also has the blur node as the input now we add a third color to our color ramp click add and choose the color black and just move that two black colors away from the white color and that it looks like this and that will be our portal border just have to add some color we could make it in the same color ramp here but I will add a second color ramp to do that it's more comfortable So I add a new color and it could be green, red, blue, whatever you like. You can just move the colors till you have the result you want. Good, and now we have to add that border to the rest of our image and we will make that through an alpha over first we have to set the alpha of this image at converter set alpha and the alpha value will be determined by another color ramp you will see why this is useful and now we add color alpha over to connect our two images so we connect our normal image with our portal border and it looks like this and now if you think it's too less alpha you just move that white color okay. Okay, what if there's an object between the portal and the camera? We haven't cared about that issue yet. I show you what I mean. I just add a cube and move it in front of the portal. 
like this and now let's say it's in the first layer it looks like this it should be in front of the portal but it isn't okay and what if it is in the second layer now you shouldn't even see it because it's in front of the portal and you should just see what's behind the portal of in the second world but you still see it so what do you need to do um, we need a fourth render layer okay delete that cube it was only or I just leave it just for demonstration okay we add a plane and it should be at the same place like the portal has the same rotation and stuff but it should be much bigger so scale it up and we move that into an additional layer and okay now it's here we will use that plane for Z masking I show you what I mean I go to buttons window again and I will make our fourth render layer call it Z mask it will render only that plane okay I go to world 2 now and world 2 will use a Z mask a negative Z mask from that layer in which our plane is make a hold control and click that layer now a black dot appears in there okay um, I select all layers and uh, I move that cube in the second layer again and <coughs> now you will see what happens okay um, the cube was in front of that plane and because of the negative set mask you only see stuff which is behind the plane and now it, the cube wasn't rendered so we solved the first problem but we didn't solve the problem when the cube is in the first layer and it's in front of the portal in the first world we have to do that in the composite nodes.